Hey, Mama B. Let me get my ass comfortable on this bed because I feel like this is going to be a long reading. So, <laughs> excuse me while I get situated. All right. <laughs> I got to get situated. Okay. So, um, if you guys can see, hi, Ziamara. If you guys see by the title, you guys know it's this this um, twelve twenty one um, this conjunction between the closest that uh, what is it Jupiter and Saturn have been um, in like I think five hundred years I want to say um, and so um, in the same day it's the longest day of the the year and this is also the beginning of winter so it's a lot going on um a lot of us are going to be moving intuitively i feel like a lot of this first of all this is the beginning of the new world i'm just putting it out there okay whether you like it or not this is the beginning of the new world you guys the energies are very very strong i have been feeling them all day long actually for the last couple of days um mama b you need to get aligned baby you need to get aligned and, and get your kind of pull yourself out of the 3d I noticed that a lot of times you mention things in the 3D and I'm not judging you, but let's let's just flow with the energy and you'll see how this reading will resonate for what you're going through because you keep mentioning the same thing every time you come in alive, baby. And I really want you to align with the spiritual aspect of where I'll be going, not based on like you, you stay very 3D focused. You see what I'm saying? And so because of that, you don't you you missing stuff, honey, you missing stuff. So, anywho, this is the beginning of the new world um, order, you guys. Now, if you want to know the scientific portions of what's going on between the two planets and all of that, I only can give you certain details. All I know is that I get downloads, things that I know intuitively, and I come here and I deliver them to you guys. So, that's where we're going to go with that. Um, so, there's going to be, if, if, I, if some stuff comes to me intuitively, I'll give them to you. If not... Uh, we'll pull from the cards. Like, I'm going to pull from the cards either way. Hi, Jada. Um, so we're going to pull from the cards either way. So we're going to see what's going on. But a lot of you guys are moving into this energy. A lot of us, the collective, not saying a lot, but the collective is moving into this energy of being um, liberated, like butterfly energy, you know, being free not being um, held back by your thoughts, by other people's principles, whether it's family, you like, this is a major, 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 major shift for a lot of us. So I just wanted to, I, if Mama B took it personal, I apologize, but I'm trying to like, like, you know, I'm trying to put y'all somewhere. I'm trying to give y'all something. And I need you guys, I, I want you guys to align with it. You know, I want you, I, I always tell you guys I love you. And that's from a pure place in me. That's not me just saying it just to have something to say. So I want you to align with it. I don't want to be bombarded by certain things. If you want a personal reading as to really what's going on in your situation, you guys can always hit me up for that. But to just bombard readers with certain information and things that you're going through is a little one-sided. So, I mean, if you take that the wrong way, I apologize for that. But that's just the way I am. You can like me or you don't have to deal with me. That's you know, what I'm saying that's just how I am. You guys, that's not coming from a place of ego or, I'm, I, you know, or that type of energy. That's not OK. I'm doing this for us as a collective because I want us all to ascend. I want us all to heal. I want us all to have the best life that's here for us. And that's not judging. That's not being hard on nobody. You know, it's just let's just focus on what we need to focus on right now. All right, so let's start. Let's let's get it on. Let's see what's what needs to be the information that needs to be known, and then let's move from there. All right, so let's see what the messages are. All right, let's see what the messages are.
All right, let's see. What are the messages? What are the messages? Oh, shoot. I was supposed to be going live on um, YouTube. I mean, not YouTube, Instagram. I totally forgot. Okay. So let's see. So I'm doing this on Instagram as well. I say YouTube. I'm Instagram. I'm going live on Instagram and YouTube. So we got value your self-worth. We got purification and detoxification. What are the messages? Taking it easy. That's solar plexus energy. This is moving. This is an energy where you're moving towards not caring what people think about you. I'm gonna just be honest. Like you're 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 removing those um for some of you guys like expectations that others have placed on you or expectations that you your ego has basically placed on you. What are the messages? What are the messages? Detoxing like really it's a time for you guys to really um be cognizant be cognizant of how you're taking care of your body, how you're taking care of your spirit, how you're taking care of your mind. Like this is like really that energy of like focus, intentions, if that makes sense. Please, you guys drink more water, drink, drink, drink water, drink water, drink water. I cannot, I, most of you guys, when I do personal readings for you guys, I mentioned that like a lot of you guys are needing to drink more water. This is a time where you're focused on your spiritual path. You're not letting any distractions, any body, any environments, any jobs for a lot of you guys are going to be walking away from jobs, people, situations, everything that does not serve your highest good. Like if it does not align with you and you immediately feel it, you're walking away from it. Stepping into um, your your free power, like your power, your innate power. Let's see what the messages are. What are the rest of the messages? Balancing your masculine and feminine energies, you guys. Stepping into some of you guys, whether you're men or women, some of you guys operate more out of your feminine energy, so there's a need for you to balance that. Some of you guys operate more out your masculine energy, right? So there's a, like a lot of balancing coming with that. Staying on your chosen path. A lot of you guys are staying, like, period. Like I said, another message. This is either you ascend in this energy or you descend. So you picking and choosing where you want to go. Do you want to ascend or do you want to descend? You know what I mean? Knowing your worth. I'm telling you, I'm really picking up on the knowing your worth energy, you guys. This is an increase or activation in your solar plexus that just... Once your solar plexus is activated, pew, it's just, that's it. It's full steam ahead. You start seeing situations. Your heart chakra opens. You know, you start being more honest and truthful, standing in your innate power, standing in your innate truth, not giving a shit what nobody else feels. I like that. Being honest. Being um, receptive. Being communicative. All right, that's about to. <laughs> Tapping into your um, tapping into your inner strength, your inner tenacity, that momentum that just keeps going. You may you know when to pull back, no one to get you enough rest, no one to rejuvenate yourself, your mind, body, soul, and spirit, but also knowing when to come out of that, not staying, not putting yourself in an energy of laziness. You know what I'm saying? Like continue to like push forward. And your endeavors and your healing and your releasing and your purging and your healing. Is there any other words? And stop letting worry and fear bog you down. A lot of you guys operate in this energy of fear. So I got my citrine right here. But like a lot of you guys operate out of this energy of fear or lack of fear or lack, like not having enough. Whether it's not having enough money, whether it's not having enough support, whether it's not having enough 
uh, benefits. I don't know how that, uh, you know, that resonates for some, not enough love as well. A lot of you guys are operating. So it's like moving out of that energy. Some of you guys are needing to go purchase you some citrine as soon as possible. Get you some raw citrine. I don't care how big or small it is. Planting your feet on solid ground. Some of you guys are having to start over, and I feel like that scares the shit out of you. Take it how it resonates. They're asking, like it's a need for you to start over, whether it's like leaving, it's like leaving, having to leave something or some people or a person behind. And some of you guys that scares the shit, sorry, that scares the shit out of you. And so there, there, but there's this ushering of a lot of um a lot of support from your spirit team, your ancestors, your angels, your Eric, some of archangels are with you. Some of you, some of your um uh, spirit team is summoning certain archangels to be with you guys, to strengthen you, to give you the courage, to give you the tenacity, to give you whatever it is that you need to keep you on your course. Because like I said before, a lot of you guys are like, I have a very high calling with this new world energy. Like a lot of you guys are, <laughs> some of you guys may have to take people in to live with you. I know that sounds crazy. No, it don't sound crazy. But some of you guys are being asked to do more than what you thought you would have to do. Like the expectation, no, that's not expectations because you can do it. But like your spirit team is, is like coaching you and like you can do it like, like that type of energy to something that's deeper and more like it's way more than what you thought. Like you thought like, oh, okay, this is what I got to do. Okay, I got this. Cool. I know I got to prepare myself, but it's more than that. It's it's more. You know what I'm saying? It's way more than what you thought. <laughs> okay. But you got this. Like a lot of you guys, don't don't let that shit scare y'all because you got it. Remember, you know what I'm saying? God never doesn't put more on you than what you can handle. So you got this. There's nothing for you to worry about. All right. What are the messages? Give me some messages. Straight no chaser. Y'all know how I am. I deliver them straight no chaser, but it's with love. It's always with love. And everybody is, you know, I'm not for everybody. It's okay. I'm not for everybody. <laughs> and that's what you need to, some of you guys need to accept that about yourselves, that you're not for everybody. Instead of trying to please everybody or make everybody feel comfortable, be comfortable with yourself. Feel good about yourself. And the right people will gravitate towards you in the right time, as opposed to trying to force yourself on people who don't really align with you. And then, you know, some shit goes downward when you do that. When you force yourself on people, when you force force, that shit ain't authentic. We don't do unauthentic around here. If you don't like me, that's fine. I send you love and light, but I'm not forcing myself and I'm not forcing anything, period. A relationship, a job, a living situation, anything. Okay, we love ourselves around here. Period. What are the messages? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Y'all know it never fails. We got teacher, we got find the blessing in your current situation, and we have work y'all magic. This work y'all magic card keeps coming up because what are you doing? Matthew, go put that dirty grum in the, in the room, please. Thank you. Silly boy. Um, your teachers. Your prophets. What is the other? What's the other uh, term? Your um. Oh, he's looking at me hard. Some of you guys either have a European or a fair skin melon, fair skin black ancestor that is getting impatient with you guys because you're not realizing your innate powers, your innate strength, your innate gifts. That you are a manifester. So be careful how you think, how you move, how you do things. Because whatever you, you know what I'm saying? Stuff comes fast to you like this. Your teachers, your alchemists, your manifestors, your prophets. But it's another word I'm looking for. Positive change coming in. If you don't see, a lot of you guys are thinking. That's why they're, that's why they're getting so upset with you for not. Not in upset. They're not upset. I'm sorry. They're not upset. They just. It's not even frustration. It's like. 
you got it. Like you got it. You got everything you need and you're not seeing it. Like some of you guys need to do some third eye chakra meditation because you don't see what they see. You don't even see what other people see. I'm talking about originally, I was talking about your spirit team. You don't even see what your spirit team see. Of course not. But you don't even see what other people see in you, that you are a magical person. You're a magical being. You are a spirit experiencing it, like going through a human experience. You are a powerful spirit. There's a need for you to find the blessing in your current situation. Look at the glass as half full as opposed to half empty. Let that pessimistic um, mindset go, you guys. Release it. Release that pessimistic mindset. And release that pessimistic mindset. Step into your power, you guys. This is something that's going to come. Y'all might feel like I'm being redundant because this is a message that keeps coming up. You guys are needing to, to realize who you are. Trust your instincts. Trust your Trust your gut. Trust your intuition. Some of you guys are magical witches. Male or female, don't matter. You got, I don't know what they call like, what would be the male um, version of a witch? A sorcerer. Some of you guys are sorcerers. You guys were somebody was a like, like a cauldron. Cauldron. I'm seeing a cauldron, like the big, you know, where people put, you know, they make magic in the cauldron. And somebody was doing that in another life. Somebody was doing that in another life. Some of you guys may have dreams of something like that. And you don't know, like the dreams are foggy. You don't know why you're having those dreams. That's what you were in another life. You are a sorcerer. You were a sorceress. You were a witch. You help people heal. If somebody got like a gash, like somebody had a, um, a gash, they took a, like a sword. Somebody had a sword slash they leg up and somebody had the cap capability to put things into a cauldron and, and, and mix up some type of magic brew, put it on their hand and heal somebody just like that. Channel that energy. Because a lot of you guys know what you are. You're just running from it. Fear. You'll feel that energy of change and just newness coming and you run from it. You're so fearful align with it and if you get to those moments where you feel ungrounded where you feel scared sit down take a few deep breaths release and call back your power and then say it out loud say it to yourself whatever that you are aligning with your highest potential you are aligning with what's for you you are aligned you are prosperous you are abundant you trust your path. You trust your spirit team. Say these things out loud, okay? Say these things out loud. Work your magic. He keep, I keep. He keeps looking at me. Mm -hmm. Trust yourself. Trust yourself, babies. Trust yourself. Where are the positive changes coming? Positive changes here. You guys know it. I feel like you guys intuitively know. That there's a lot of change for you guys. That there's a lot of positive change for you. But the newness of it all fucking scares you. The fact that you have to release some people permanently or temporarily or however it goes scares you. This is all aligned with where you're supposed to go and where you're supposed to be. I bullshit you not. Everything that's happening that has happened whether you're trusting it or you're not trusting it, whether you're scared or you're not scared, whether you're fearful or you're not fearful, this is all a part of divine planning, divine timing. They got your back like nothing has, I mean, like you've never had your back had before. This is this is how it's supposed to be. That Native American energy again. Mm -hmm. Trust your wisdom, trust them. Sometimes you, you sit back and you listen and you lay down or you sitting there and you're like, you hear a voice tell you something and you're like, that's for you. You're supposed to hear that. You know what I'm saying? 
You're supposed to hear that. Those messages are for you. Those are your spirit guides. Your spirit guides are a little louder than your ancestors. You can hear their voices. And you and you say that. And you just to check and ask them and they'll they'll confirm it. Your spirit guides voices are louder. They are. They're they're, you know. We got power of joy ups, upside down. A lot of you guys are not like are needing to step more into your joy. Like you are innately joyful. You're innate, you're innately happy, but it's like you don't you just all oh, babies. I feel like it can even be somebody that's connected to you energetically that makes you get down at times. It's not you, it's not necessarily you. It's needing is when those negative feelings and thoughts start coming. It's a need for you to transmute them instantly. Don't even let them sit on you long. Transmute that shit, you know? Say it out loud. Say it to yourself. However, however, you know what I'm saying? But just transmute it. Okay? Okay, so I don't think there are any more messages in this deck. Let's move on. I'm going to get you guys as many messages as I possibly can because I really feel like you guys need them. Oh, my tummy. Yeah, you guys are going to, your tummies, are, your tummies, your stomachs are going to be more sensitive. Your headaches, you're going to have more headaches now. You're getting aligned. Like, it's just, it's the newness of it all. We having to be aligned and shift everything. Everything in this has to shift. Get you some more rest. Drink more water, okay? Drink more water, you guys. Drink, drink, drink. I always tell you guys, drink water. Where's my water shoot? Y'all know my water is always by me, huh? Some of you guys don't like the taste of room temperature water. I get it. Now, me, now you, I don't know if you guys know, but cold water is not necessarily good for you. But this is what I do. Like, you see that big bottle of water I drink, right? I'll put it in the freezer for like 20 minutes or something like that, just to knock off that warmness of the situation. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't really like the taste of room temperature water, but I can stomach a little bit better. Than what I used to. So just put it in the freezer for a little bit. Not to get it cold, but just to get, you know, you know, so it could taste a little better. Because I feel like, yeah, somebody does not like room temperature water. Some of you guys. So let's see what what are the messages from my beautiful um soul team? My soul tribe. I can't see who commented. Hey there, hi Jasmine. Hi, go go a hey, hey, hey. how you guys doing? Okay, I can't. My phone is right here over the comments on YouTube because I'm on um I'm live on YouTube and Instagram. So just in case if y'all don't see me, and plus I'm into the reading. Let me and then we'll we'll chat afterwards. What are the messages? Hi, I don't know, 24 Beauty, Kia, and TK Gray. How you guys doing? I don't know if all three of y'all still in there. All right. Oh. All right. So we got building blocks. And chaos and conflict. So, yeah, I feel like somebody is definitely having to start over and it scares them. Like, start over. Somebody may want a second chance with you guys, but I feel like, or you may want a second chance with someone, but I just feel like it's too much conflict, you know? And I'm not saying this is not a fixable. I'm not saying this is, this is, this is not, I'm not saying this is not a, um, a fixable situation. I'm good. I'm good. Uh, I'm not saying this is not a fixable situation, but two people have to be on the same page in the, in terms of communication. If let's just say me and 24 beauty, we, we have conflict. This is my little sister. We have conflict. Now we both, we both have a desire to fix this conflict, but if we both are not on the same frequency of communicating, where do you think is going to happen? Where you think this is about to go? We like, yeah, it's it's not gonna go to really nowhere. We have to be open. We both have to be open to communication. If one person like me, I'm gonna speak for myself. I'm a communicative person for the most part. Now, there's a situation where there are certain situations where my discernment will say no, leave it alone. But for the most part, I'm communicative. I'm like I like to talk. You know, I got Gemini in my chart and I got Leo. <laughs> saying so i like to talk this is something that is unfinished 
there's an opportunity for something to be fixed, whether it's a relationship. For some of you guys, it's just family. It has to do with family. But there is conflict at the center of it. Like there's like two people, like I said, who are not on the same frequency. So it's like I, if I'm on a different frequency, it's like 24 Beauty is my little sister and we're trying to talk. And if we're on two different frequencies, we're not going to have an understanding. You know what I'm saying? We're not going to have an overstanding of what, what's, what needs to be said and what needs to be known. So that's the situation that some of you guys got going on right now. But there is a, I mean, this is not like something that's dead and gone with the unfinished symphony card. This is not leaving your life anytime soon. I don't care if there's no communication between you and people. And I feel like this is multiple people with you. But I feel like this had to, uh, okay, okay. I feel like this is um, accurate. I was going to say, I think this is accurate with a lot of you guys. But this is not just, oh, my stomach. Uh, this is not just a situation. Um, Sorry. This is not just one. For some of you guys, this is multiple people in your life. Some of you guys, this is multiple people wanting to get back in your good graces. But there's like, like I said, you know, if you're, your, your frequency is somewhere and their frequency is somewhere, then how does that work? Oh, okay. All right. So he's saying, uh, work your magic. That's what he said. <laughs> Manifest this communication. You can do it now. Manifest better communication. Work your magic. You can't change nobody, they say. You can't put the words in nobody's mouth, but you can you can do what you need to do on your end. Excuse me. Get me together now. A change in the wind. There's a change coming between you and somebody or you and somebody. I feel like a lot of you guys, whether you realize this or not, I feel like there's about four people who want better communication with you. They want to get back in your good graces. They want to love on you. They want to hug on you. They want to just tell you how much that you mean to them. Four people, max, max five people. But it's like, what are you going to do? Because this is what it is. And I'm not being, you know, I'm just saying like, if you're here and then people are like reaching for you, it's like the judgment card on my deck, like reaching for you to talk. But you, you're you you're like, listen, if you ain't coming to me, this talk, that's how I am. If you're not going to come at me this way, then I, I can't, especially an adult. Now I'll tolerate a child because children are children, but an adult coming at me a certain way in an abrasive way, it's very hard for me to, you know, get out. Y'all feel me? Do y'all feel me? Hey, people are watching me now. Are you guys feeling me? I hope you guys are understanding what I'm saying. What are the messages? You got to be on the same page, babies. On the same page. Because the way your ascension is set up, okay? Y'all hear me? The way y'all ascension is setting up, and the way y'all spirit team is, and the way those archangels are, and the way spirit is, they're not going to let nobody come into your personal area, your personal vicinity with the bullshit. They're going to give you the discernment to know when to block these people out or they're just not gonna even going to let them come your way. Oh, you, you think you're going to mess with Indigo or you think you're going to mess with 24 Beauty or you think you're going to mess with Wynell and Jasmine and all my babies and you think you're going to come at them some type of way? Oh, no, you won't. <laughs> oh, no, you won't. No, you come, you come correct or you don't come at all. Period. That's just how it is. And if you don't like it, I mean, tough titty said the kitty. But I mean, what you going to do? You can work on yourself like I've been working on myself. And then like maybe we can, we can, we can chop it up. You know, because a lot of us have the gift of gab anyway, you know, and then we're in our higher selves. So, you know. But like, if you're coming at me on, on some uh, cheeky shit, like my grandmother used to say, then uh, no, we can't do that. No way. No ma'am, no ham. Mm -mm. We can't do that. I'm only tolerating that stuff from my child, my seven-year-old and, and people like, I mean, you know, I'm not, I'm, I don't know. No. Let me see. Any more messages in this deck? I'm, up, I'm giving you guys like, this would probably be like an hour reading. Some of this has to do with a love situation. This somebody ain't leaving, ain't going nowhere, but their communication on a scale from one to 10 is a minus 78. <laughs> it is. 
loyal heart. Ignore my car. Y'all know my car's got issues. Just ignore that. Now, this soulmate feels romantic, but this could be a so Okay. Two people pulling away from each other. Do y'all see the owls? Now, mind you, y'all know, y'all know. I always show y'all this is my one of my spirit animals, the owl. The owl is very, 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 very wise. Nocturnal. So some of you guys resonate with that because you guys are night owls. Night owls. <laughs> but it feels like two people pulling away. Look at their egos. Look what their egos are doing. This relationship triggers your ego. And you see this? Look at this. And look at them on that big ass heart. All this love. I'm, if I could sing, I would really sing that, that song. Y'all know all this. You know what I'm saying? Look at this. Like, what? You ain't coming. To, but you know what? Just the fact that I just smile. Like, that's that's like, you're not even angry at y'all. Yeah, I mean, angry at y'all. They're not angry at you. You're not angry at them. Y'all not angry at each other. It's just, this is ego. This is ego. It's something about this connection that triggers that ego. You pull, you like, okay, 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 spirit. I know you don't want me going there. I, I you know, I, I know, I know I'm not supposed to say this. I know I'm not supposed to come at them like this, but they just take a deep breath and relax. I'm telling you. Because they feel the same way about you. I feel like they feel like you're uncommunicative. They don't, they feel like something. I mean, it, it may be not the exact same thing, but I just feel like there's a lot of similarity. This is twin flame energy, you guys. Twin flame. Loyal heart, but y'all ain't like, look at this. I'm just, it's so fucking funny to call me. Like, yeah. What are the messages? I don't have time. Somebody said, I don't have time. I ain't gonna block you, but I'm not, I don't have time. Relax. Somebody's saying relax. Like you relax. You always turned up. You always upset. You always trying to boo boo boo. And the next person say, you know, it makes them laugh. Like somebody's laughing like that. Like, I don't know if you guys are communicating telepathically or that's how y'all normally talk. Chill out. Somebody said chill out. No. And you know what? I, I'm going to tell you the truth. Well, that, that's a very dismissive thing to say. Chill out. Because if I, if something is, if I'm feeling some type of way, I should be able to verbally express myself. Without you telling me to chill out, why do I have to chill out? Okay, you, you want me to calm down? All right, I'll be at an even kill, but I'm still going to express myself. I'm still going to tell you how I feel. Whether this is a lover, a friend, or a family, or a neighbor. So, neighbors, who's be? Well, neighbors could be soulmates. Anybody could be a soulmate. Somebody, this is a neighbor, a sister, a twin. This is somebody's twin. This is somebody's sister. This is them. This is you guys. Some of you that are your soulmates you do your sister is here to teach you things you are here to teach her things she is here to trigger things in you you are here to trigger things in her vice versa like you ping pong but you are you are more ascended you are ascended and she's 3d ish so you know i think that you might trigger her a little bit more but this feels like sister energy some of you guys Excuse me. Some of you guys need more sleep. Sleep, sleep, sleep. I know I do, y'all. And I fight that shit so much, man. Like, the fact that I don't get enough sleep. I know. I did last night, though. But then I end up waking up like 3 in the morning. Listening to music. I listen to music for like 2 hours. Where they do that at? Like, I just laid here and just listen to music. <laughs> Message in a bottle, or are you guys sending a message, accepting a message, receiving a message, um, expecting a message? What is this? This is a message in a bottle. Message, a text message, a text message. Some of you guys need to check your blocked messages. I don't know. It might be a message. I mean, you might not give a shit. If you're like, well, anybody I blocked, I don't want to see that message anyway, but I'm just saying. Something about a message. I feel like, yeah. Check somebody could have somebody blocked and somebody's trying to message them. Or that could, you know, take it how it resonates, you know. Y'all know my car is always upside down. What about nails say? Sorry. It's, yeah, Eagles Clash. Yep.
I'm giving y'all the full shebang because I love us so much. I don't sleep at all. For some reason, I've been waking up at 5 or 6 a.m. Um, pay attention to your thoughts or your dreams when you wake up. If you wake up at a certain time, then then journal. That's why they always say keep a journal on the side of your bed so you can journal your dreams. Even if you only remember a fragment of your dreams, use your notebook, like write it down because there's a message for you. Like I told you, I went to bed, me and my son, I don't remember what time I went to sleep. We were watching a movie and I woke up at three something, was three something, like a little before four. And like, I was having a weird dream. So there's a need for you guys to like, remember, like, even if there was a thought that came to you, like if you had to, you got up to go use the restroom or whatever the case is. And there's a thought, like, just be conscious of that. Okay. What are the messages? What are the messages? Okay. Almost. What are the messages? Yes, my love. I am. But you can still say what you want. Did you know I was watching number blocks? Guess what I was watching them? What? Alpha blocks. Alpha blocks is the same thing? No. Alpha blocks is um, legends when you spell stuff. Oh, duh. You Alpha, learn how you spell it. Oh, okay. How to spell stuff. Number blocks is different. Y'all want to come in here? No. Okay. Oh, no, no. He's rude. <laughs> Where are you going to I don't want to come here with his mama. Whatever. All right. Oh. Just say yes. What is that? Is that a proposal? And I don't necessarily have to be a marriage proposal. It could just be a somebody asking you to do something or asking somebody to do or asking somebody might somebody might ask you guys, like, do you guys want a gift or what do you want for Christmas? Or what do you want to do? Like, do you want to like what it's like somebody asking you a question and you saying want to say no, but they're saying to say yes. Yeah. Because you're going through an ascension. I told you that when I did your reading, honey. Yeah. Yeah. What are the messages? I want to get six cards. Let me get one more card. Okay. Well, I get seven. So we have protection, call back your power, cut the cords, soul retrieval, cutting them, um, them, them cords. Remember I told you guys, I think I told you guys in the video before about cutting them soul ties. You create soul ties through sex, lots of sex, intentional sex. Some of you guys, when you were having sex with karmics, you were manifesting, whether you were consciously doing it or subconsciously. The thoughts that you had in your head when you was having sex with your karmic, you manifest it. They're manifested into some type of energy, and it's in the in these in this energy. It's like very um. It's almost very. very it was like um. It's like you know, like like you know um. The, what what the card? What the the devil card in tarot? What? Oh, just drink a little bit of it because I don't want it to make your stomach hurt. Come here. Want to say hi, real fast? Hi, hi, life. Here. All right, drink a little bit, man, because I don't want that to hurt your stomach. That's sweet. Um, that's a smoothie. All right, so it's like the devil card, right? Let me show you guys. I want to give you guys a visual. Okay, cool. It's right here in the front. Okay, so listen, listen, you guys. This is the devil card. These are two karmic pe people. They have had sex many times. They have had sex in many lifetimes. They are karmic partners. They're here to learn from each other, right? It's painful. It's, a, it's, most, it's the most painful relationship you will ever experience. There will be hurt. There will be betrayal. There will be cheating. There will be all kind of stuff in this connection. A lot of you guys have experienced it or are you still experiencing it? So to, and, 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 and to disconnect from this energy and cut the cords with, with a past partner, where you guys say, oh, you guys have real, 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 real nasty sex. <laughs> okay. But anyways, you have to be very intentional with cutting these ties. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, it's like imagining a person in front of you facing you with some big sheer scissors and cutting that, cutting that, cutting that. However, whatever the number is that intuitively pops in your head and cutting those cords because those cords out there, it's not as many cords as it once was, but they're still there. Do you get what I'm saying? 
that is going to help you with your power, calling back your power, calling back that energy that was kind of lost a little bit. Priestess, how are you being called to step up and lead? A lot of you guys, like I said, are sorcerers, you witches, you're very high spiritual ranked people, period. Okay. Align your life. That Aligning your life is um, knowing who the fuck you are. Don't let nobody try you, collective. Don't let nobody try you. Don't let nobody sink you down into a rabbit hole of who the fuck you used to be. Because people will try that. The universe will send some of these people over there to try you and, and, and see if, like, are, are they really ready? Are they ready for the spiritual promotion? Oh, okay, they ain't ready. Let's send them back in a couple of months. Align your life. Yes, yeah, some of you guys, like I said, going back to this, somebody's going to ask you something and it's going to be something like you're going to want to say no to and they're saying say yes. This is also saying yes to your calling. Whatever your spiritual calling is, this is saying yes to that, okay? Answering the door. Answer. Oh, some of you guys, okay, somebody may come to your door. Now, we all know that is very rude to pop up at somebody's house. But it feels like somebody's going to pop up at somebody's house and you're going to be like, you know, you might think it's like the gas company or the water, you know, you know, whatever. And you might. And then when you find out with somebody at your door, you're going to be like, oh, the fuck, they did, you know, that type of thing. But they're saying, open the door. To I don't like that, man, because I could be I've been in on TMI, but I've been on a toilet before and people have popped up at my door. And my, my son would be like, mom, so-and-so at the door. I'd be like, what the? Like, you know, the other day it was a package, but I'm just saying in general, like, that is a very awkward thing to do. Just pop up at somebody's house. Well, when you know better, you do better. Anyway, what is the niggling feeling trying to tell you? Your soul is not going to give up on what you're supposed to do. You got to keep on going, y'all. Share your voice. Come out of the cave, person. Oh, here we go. So a lot of you guys, I said, are spiritual leaders. You are teachers. You are prophets, right? It's, it's, what's the other word for a prophet, you guys? Help me out. It's another word for prophet. Oh, I wish you guys could. Okay, it's another word for a prophet. But anyway, some of you guys, that's what you are, right? So there's a need for you guys to step out of that fear. They're trying to push you out of that fear of being scared because a lot of you guys needing to start YouTube channels. You need to speak like you, like I said, like I told you guys before, somebody, some of you guys are revolutionaries. You're people, you're, you're people that really considered to go against the grain, but see, guess what, guess what, whether you like it or not, you're going to have to do it because like I said, in the beginning of the reading, This is liberation energy. This new world energy, you guys, that we're getting into right now, you're liberated. So you don't give a fuck. Like you, somebody might post a damn near half naked picture of themselves and be like, go fuck yourself if you don't like it. And that's your business. But it's about speaking up and talking to the masses and helping the collective heal and bringing enlightenment and truth. And listen, some of you guys, this is doing it with your children, with your nieces and your nephews, with your cousins. Like start doing, start with the children. Boom, there you go. You want to share your voice, start with the kids. The kids will be more receptive and open. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, it'll work that way. We have the ace of light. You've been training for this for lifetimes. Yet yeah, this is, hello, thank you, spirit. This is your divine purpose. This is your birthright. This is what you were born to do, period. Whatever it is, this is what you was born to do, y'all. All right, let's get into the tarot finally, huh? I'm just trying to give you all the messages. I'm trying to give it all to you, all of it to you, because this is, you're going to feel the shift. Some of you guys are literally going to wake up tomorrow feeling like a new person. You might pop out of like, you know, it's, I'm picturing some type of TV show or cartoon where somebody pops up and they do this and they start kissing the birds and like on some Snow White stuff and like just being just completely open, like go different. Like that's what I'm feeling. Yes, I love it. I love it. Whew. Also, somebody's going to call y'all at the blue. Now, I, I'm not saying that somebody, some of y'all got people blocked. 
That's a different message. This is something that I'm telling you something aside from that. Let me take a sip of water. My mouth dry. Somebody's about to call y'all out the blue. You're going to be like, I literally see where damn, I wish I had my where's my phone at? Oh damn, look right here. Y'all know I'll be on one. Somebody is gonna look there. Okay, so this is the phone. This is the phone. So somebody's you, you know, you somebody call your phone, you're gonna look at it, you're gonna be like, and you're gonna smile. Like, <laughs> that's so cute. Oh, that's so cute. You're gonna be like, and then you're gonna start smiling. And then you're gonna count how many times you're gonna be like, nah, I ain't gonna answer it too quick because I don't want them to be, you know. <laughs> That's funny. Like, what? Boy, girl, what? Hello. Smiling and shit, but you're going to be like, hello. <laughs> Message me when it happens. Message me. Why now? Why did your name just come to my head? Why now? Why now? Where are you? Why did your name just, why did you just come to me? Well, Nell is my like my sister, my sister. I call it. I call y'all, you know, my sister. But she just, I know her energy. Even even here, but I felt that for that. For I feel like that was for her. I'm like, boy, what do you want? And listen, look at me. Look at that. The two of cups. Like, what are you? What? Are you, what are you calling me now? You want to call? Uh, yes, please, twenty. Because I know somebody calling you. I boy. <laughs> That's some shit I do. Like, what do you want? But see, I can't hide how I feel. Because it be written all over my face, written all in my words. It just be, you know, what it is. All right, what are the messages? Ooh, I should have known she was about to come out with her beautiful self. Okay, the Empress, you know, sitting on what you sitting on. Okay. Oh, oh, this came out in reverse. Okay. What are the messages? What are the messages? Oh, well, my cards always do that. What are the messages? The Knight of Cups. Somebody going to be taking a chance on you, even though they don't feel that confident. They feel you slipping away. Uh, get your ass back here. Like that. That type of energy. Uh -uh, know where you think you're going. What are the messages? What are your messages? What are you messages? What are you, ooh, what are you, what are you messages? What are the messages? They ain't confident, but they ready to pull your ass back in, though. What are the messages? What are the messages? Look at what I say. What I say? What did I say? Somebody feel you slipping away. And I ain't trying to have that because you're too bomb. You're too beautiful. But you're not beautiful aesthetically. We know we talk about your soul being beautiful. But all of y'all are beautiful. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying. This is deeper than that. Okay. What are the messages? Okay. Okay. What are the messages? Give them to me straight. No chases. Spirit. They said they always do. Ooh, what is this? Oh, snuggy snuggy around. Look at this. Look at this. Ah, what's going on? Somebody ain't trying to lose. I don't want to lose your love. What's that song about emotions? I don't want to lose your love. Yeah, that's what I'm hearing. But it's a new cycle, love. So whether you want to lose me or not, guess what? Guess what? I'm stuck. What are the messages? What are the messages? All righty, we got the nine of swords. All right. The nine or the eight of swords always got to show up. We got the judgment card at the bottom of the deck, a decision, a switch up, a change up, listening to your, 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 your spirit team. This is listening to your spirit team, listening to spirit. Could be about a completion, an ending, a tower moment right behind the 10 of swords, a tire. Oh no, oh no, no, no. I'm sorry. That's the moon card. Somebody. Okay. We're not going to, we're going to not going to entertain that one real fast. All right, so we got the Empress. This is Taurus Libra energy. This is divine femininity, period. Being being skinny in touch more with your feminine energies, um, aligning more with your feminine energy. A lot of us are have been operating more out of our masculine side. 
That's why our ego has been triggered so easily. So now we're moving out of that energy. Let's clarify this Ace of Swords in reverse. Clarify this Ace of Swords in reverse, please. Ace of Swords in reverse. The Five of Wands. No victory because somebody is scared of conflict or worried about some type of conflict. We got the Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck, so that's divine love. But they really want to move towards this with the Knight of Cups next to the Lover's card. They really want to move towards this. this is a soulmate. This is somebody who wants to move, but they so goofy. Somebody is goofy as hell. And I feel like they act even more goofy when they get drunk. This could be you or this somebody attached to you, but they like goofy. They could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Leo, Aries, Sag, or Gemini, or even a Scorpio. Um, but this is somebody who doesn't really trust their like this. This could be a man or, or a man or a woman who is very nice looking, but they don't operate in the energy of being like who, I mean, you know what I'm saying? They don't see themselves how, like I was saying how some of you, this could be y'all, but like, it's like somebody doesn't see themselves for who they truly are. Clarify this Knight of Cups, please. The Knight of Cups. This is an offer for some of you guys, a Knight of Cups. They don't even know what they offer. They just want to offer you guys something because they don't want to lose you. The Queen of Pentacles came out like sideways. Working on your stability, building all, oh, building your confidence up. Somebody building their confidence up because it's like a masculine, and and this has nothing to do with their um, orientation. But there's a masculine who operates kind of more so out of their feminine energy because their confidence is not as strong as it really should be. If that makes sense. So this is why they come so goofy. Instead of like saying something like, pro, it don't have to be profound, but like they could say something profound because we would be in, like, wouldn't we be oppressed by that? But they will say something that's just off the Richter scale. Like, what the fuck are you mean? Like, like, <laughs> like they just say something that's just completely like, what? Th th what? That's not what we're talking about. Like, what are you talking about? Why don't you just say what you need to say and mean what you say? Like that type of energy. Like, but then instead of that, they'll like, you know, say something that's just, that doesn't make any sense because they're uncomfortable. Somebody intimidates somebody. Somebody makes them feel some type of way. Like I feel butterflies. Somebody gets butterflies in their chest or in their stomach when they see somebody or talk to when I see you. What's that song? When I see you. Damn. What's the song y'all? When I see you, who sings that? This could be you to them, or this could be both of y'all. Clarify this lover's card. Yeah, somebody wants a new beginning. Somebody wants a new beginning. This is this their energy. They want a new beginning. They want to take a step forward. They want to move. This is you guys, some of you guys. No, 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 no. 90% this is your counterpart. But somebody wants a new beginning and they want to move. This is uh, Aries and Cancer and Gemini in their chart somewhere. They can meet these signs. This is what they want because this is this is. It's like their confident boost is when they start drinking or they, somebody could smoke like vape. Somebody vapes. Somebody vapes. Somebody I also see what is it? What is it called when they put the whole thing over their face and to get the weed? What is it called, y'all? Yeah, thank you, baby. Thank you for your beauty. Yes. But what is it called when you do like I've never done it before? I've only smoked out of joints, blunts, and uh pipes. But like, yeah, somebody vapes or they do like, yeah, they do something. So that when they get into this energy, they just can't stop thinking about like somebody. <laughs> y'all, the way these messages come in, man. I mean, y'all know what I am. So, OK, whatever. But somebody. So we all adults. We all over 21. But somebody masturbates when they think about you. Period. Like when they think about you, they pitch you or they see you, they masturbate when they're in. OK, who's that noise? When they get in this energy, when they get in that energy, then they start, you know, hey, so I mean, it's what it is. Um, and then they get into this energy of just them want to take over, like, you're my soul, mate, you're my life, you're my partner for life. You ain't going nowhere energetically. I'm pulling your ass back over here. You know, it's all about us and, you know, fuck all that shit about you talking about you about to leave and all this. <laughs> Where do you think you're going? <laughs> Clarify this um, death card. 
clarify the death card. The moment. Ooh. Oh, some of you guys are dealing with Scorpios. This is too strong to say nobody's not dealing with a Scorpio. This could be a separate situation. Um, there could be a transformation in terms of a relationship, of terms of commitment. Um, but there's a Scorpio in somebody's energy. But there could be some type of transformation, um, like somebody laying all their cards on the table. All right, you want to know everything that's going on with me? Let's lay these cards out. This is, this is what's going on. You want to know? Like somebody gets an attitude. Like, you want to know? Like, yeah, my friend, I want to know. You know? But yeah, lay your cards out on the table. Tell me what's going on. Let me know what's going on. And then somebody just opens up. And basically, for some of you guys, this transforms some dynamic for some of you guys. It, 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 it transforms a relationship. It transforms some type of communication for some of you guys. Now, mind you, this could be some some of you guys. This is the action that this person is going to take, or is you, or for some of you guys, um, for some of you guys, this is their energy. Okay, like they're imagining somebody's somebody's imagining doing something or having a with you, or you're imagining having a conversation with somebody. Somebody's imagining this. A pay, uh, clarify the page of cups, please. But then when they sober up, they go back into this page. Look at this. No confidence. Acting like they 12 when they 42. 32, 22, 32, 30, 35, 28, 26, 25. Clarify this page of cups. 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 Ooh, the ten of cups. See, once they go back into this energy of this page, like once they sober up or whatever, they scoop back down to the page of cups and they lose their confidence. They lose their build up. They lose their whatever it is. They lose their traction. And then they go back and then the ten of cups goes in reverse. The love is still there, but the action behind to get to this love is not there no more. They lose it. And then some things can turn toxic because of that. Clarify this devil card, please. The eight of cups. Yeah, they're turning their back on the emotions. So you go into this energy of like, you know, regret, sorrow, whatever. And, you know, and then a new cycle. And then here goes the thing about this is that that person is taking a hell of a gamble because there's a um, a new cycle here. There's a new there's a chance for something to flourish that is so beautiful 